Eye hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. All the faithful ones who were striving against evil, John heard the promise made. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. John saw the mercy, the tenderness, and the love of God, blending with his holiness, justice, and power. He saw sinners finding a father in him of whom their sins had made them afraid. And looking beyond the culmination of the great conflict, he beheld upon Zion them that had gotten the victory stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God and singing the song of Moses and the Lamb. A fear of making the future inheritance seem too material has led many to spiritualize away the very truths which lead us to look upon it as our home. Christ assured his disciples that he went to prepare mansions for them in the Father's house. Those who accept the teachings of God's word will not be wholly ignorant concerning the heavenly abode. And yet I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Human language is inadequate to describe the reward of the righteous. It will be known only to those who behold it. Heaven is a school. Its field of study, the universe. Its teacher, the infinite one. A branch of this school was established in Eden, and the plan of redemption accomplished. Education will again be taken up in the Eden school.